Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to English Shine Channel. Hello, smart people. I am Mr. Setia. Today, I like to talk about present perfect. Here it is, present perfect tense. Okay. Let's go to study more deeply. Today, we learned about present perfect deeply and completely. There are several things that we want to study about present perfect. First, definition. What present perfect tense is, knowing and understanding about present perfect. Second, Use, what function of it, what the situation or condition when we make it. Third, structure, how to make a good sentences of present perfect tense. Fourth, time signal. It's about the time that we usually use in present perfect tense. Fifth, already, yet, still, and just. Understanding the differences of those words in sentences. And the last, we're talking about been and gone. How to use been and gone in good sentences? Because sometimes make people confused. So, let's begin with the first, that is definition. This part is very important thing, knowing and understanding is the key how to use in daily life. So, look at the chart here. Past, now, and future. Focus on the two cross marks in the line. That's the situation of the accident happened. It expresses the idea that something happened or never happened before now at an unspecified time in the past. The present perfect is used to indicate the link between the present and the past. The time of an action is before now, but not specified. And we often more interested in the result than in the action itself. The exact time it happened is not important at all. So we begin for the example. They have moved into a new house. Second, have you ever visited Malaysia? Third, I have already seen that movie 20 times. They are of the examples are no specific time, but it happened in the past. Okay, let's talk the second part. That is use. The use of present perfect tense. We understand the situation and condition before we use it. We use the same for unfinished and finished action. The first use, how long? It began in the past and continued to the present. We need since or for. For example, I have known Lucy since 2000. She has worked in London for six months. Second, life experience. These are accidents that happen sometime during a person's life. For example, I have been to Tokyo. Third, with an unfinished time word, like this month, this week, today. Don't use yesterday because it's simple past. The period of time still continuing. For example, I haven't seen her this month. Fourth, present result. Focus on result. We usually to talk about something that happened in the recent past, but that's still true or important now. For example, someone has broken the window. The window is broken now. Fifth, 
news or recent events. We usually talk about something that happened recently, even if there isn't a clear result in the present. This is common when we want to introduce news. For example, the taxi has just arrived. So, that's the use of present perfect tense. So, we move along to the structure. We divide into two kinds of making sentences. There are nominal sentence or nonverbal sentence using to be or been. Second is a verbal sentence using verb, that is verb three. In nominal sentence, for positive sentence, the formula is subject plus has or have plus been plus complement. For example, I have been here for two days and Negative sentence, you just put not after has or have. For example, I have not been here for two days. And then, interrogative sentence, you just move has or have in front and plus question mark in the end. For example, have you been here for two days? So, in verbal sentence, for positive sentence, the formula is subject plus has or have plus verb three. For example, I have watched the film. And negative sentence, you just write not after the has or have. For example, I have not watched the film. And then, interrogative sentence, you just move has or have in front and plus question mark in the end. For example, have you watched the film? As a note, First, actually, verb has and have. Has is for see, he, it. Have is for I, you, they, we. And the second complement consists of noun or adjective or adverb. And the third, always using past participle or verb three. The next is time signal. Present perfect use this time to complete a sentence. We often know two words. Those are since and for. Since, a fixed time in the past. For example, since in 1986, since I was a child, since last year, since I was at school. And for, a period of time. For a tenth year, for a week, for hour, for six months. So, here for example, I have liked chocolate since I was a child. Second, she has lived in London for three years. First sentence is using since, second sentence is using for. Let's move along to the next section. That is already, yet, still, and just. First, talking about already. Already means before now. We use it to emphasize that something happened before something else or earlier than expected. Already in the context is only used in the positive sentences. For example, he wanted to see that movie, but I have already seen it. Second, the train has left already. You can put already after accelerated verb, has or have, or in the end of sentences. So the second is yet. Yet means at any time up to now. We use it to emphasize that we expect something to happen soon. Yet is only used in negative sentences and questions. For example, have you finished your homework yet? Second, I have not finished it yet. 
I'll do it after dinner. So we're talking about the still, how to use still in sentences. Still means something has not happened. We use it to emphasize that we expected the thing to happen earlier. Still in the context is only used in negative sentences. For example, I've been waiting for an hour and the bus still hasn't come. Second, she still hasn't replied to my email. Maybe she's on holiday. Still come before the subject, the bus, day, or centra. And actually verb, hasn't or haven't. And the next is talking about the just. Just means a short time before. Example. I've just seen Susan coming out of the cinema. Have you just taken my pen? Just comes between the absolute verb, has or have, and the past participle, or verb 3. Let's move to the last part. That is differences between been and gone. In this tense, we use both been and gone as the past participle of go, but in slightly different in circumstances. Okay, we're talking about been first. We use been often when we talk about life experience. To mean that the person being talked about has visited the place and come back. Notice the preposition to. For example, I've been to Paris, but now I'm in London where I live. Second, she has been to school today, but now she is back at home. And the third example, they have never been to California. Okay, the next we talking about gone. We use gone often when we are talking about an accent with a result in the present. To mean that the person is at the place now. Okay, here are the examples. Where is John? He's gone to the shops. He's at the shop now. Julie has gone to Mexico. Now she is in Mexico. They've gone to Japan for three weeks. Now they are in Japan. Okay, that's all about present perfect tense. Me, Mr. Satya from English Shine, I do apologize for any mistakes. I would like to say thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel. Hope that it's useful for everyone. Bye-bye.
Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.